my fan solution, the mechanics of it are pretty much done. The blower motor is up there on this piece of wood. It's not anchored in yet, but I will anchor it in because it will vibrate. The hose is on and I haven't put the clips on it because I just don't think they're necessary. It's so rigid that it just seems to sort of sit there. It's very light. Um, so yeah, it's just sitting there fine. And here I've got a big lead acid gel battery and I'm going to connect the pods to it and see what it sounds like. So let's give it a try. Yeah, that's pretty good. And that's blowing through the pipe to the outside. I've just got to clip that wire on. I found a clip here, so I'll just clip it on temporarily. So that's sucking in air from the top of the shed and most of the mould is on the ceiling. So I figured that was the best place, right in the centre and right at the deepest part of the shed. If I come round to the door, that's over the other side. Now, if you're thinking that's going to create a vacuum in the shed, well it will, apart from the passive vent, and the passive vent are the gaps around the door. And I can feel there, there is a lot of air being sucked in across the top of the door and through this hole at the bottom of the door. Now that will have two effects. It will dry the interior of the shed out and it will dry out the door frame. And one of the problems I was having was that I couldn't open and close the door very easily. Let's try it. So outside, you can see that this is still a pretty tight fit, but as air gets sucked around the bottom edge, the side edge, the hinge edge and the top edge of the door, that frame should gradually shrink and the frame, the outer frame should shrink back, in other words it will get a larger aperture and the door should open nice and easily. Let's have a look at the vent. Yes there's a very nice venty sound and you can see here that it's actually blowing enough air to uh, move these little branches around. So yeah, that's blowing a lot. A lot of air coming out of there. Moist air from inside the shed. It's going to be replaced with, well, on a dry day, dry air coming through the door aperture. Of course, on a rainy day, I won't turn the fan on because that would be uh, counterproductive. It would just suck moist air around the door and it would probably get even worse. So yeah, it's pretty noisy in here, but I won't be in here when the fan's running because what I'll probably do is switch the fan on and run it for an hour before I attempt to open the door. Now I've got another one of these batteries, so it'll run off two of these in parallel. They're 17 amp hours each. I think it says that there. Yeah, there I think, 17 amp hours. So that'll be 34 amp hours, which should be enough. And of course those will be trickle charged by uh, a very thin piece of wire running down to my solar power bank. So I'll cut a tiny little hole in the base of the shed there, pass a very thin wire through. That wire will run all the way down here, past all this junk, and down to the solar power bank with the three solar panels and the three big batteries which you can't see because they're behind these panels, but they're these things, the big Trojans, and there are three of them. And I'll probably attach the shed to this right-hand one. My workshop battery bank uh, isn't actually yet, but it will be attached to the left-hand one. And the middle one will go, oh, I don't know, maybe to these sheds, who knows.